Genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning in the in the beginning in the beginning yeah hello everyone my name's Jamai here and when you're here your family um this is just one this is just a devlog that i'm making i want to just have like a little diary for myself so i can look back at it and also see where i've gone wrong see like how i can improve the animations and stuff and just give myself a little bit of like a memory bank for myself and also just to show him off as well um this is heartfelt um he's my character for my upcoming 3d platformer and also my first game so we'll see how that goes but i'm going to be very i'm very excited to work on it um this is just his idle animation he's just looking around um and on the back uh his bow also reacts to his movements so look he looks like when he's waddling around um you see him waddling around with it too um and i tried to steer away from having mixamo animations because i wanted to have full control over the animations for the character and also i just like to personalize things and make it look like he's actually alive and I don't know, I don't know if that sounds wrong, but you know, I mean, I don't want it to look motion captured. I want it to look like someone's actually handmade everything because the game itself has a very strong aspect of handmade feel. Anyway, this is Heartfelt. He's going to run around for you. Like I've got a run animation. I feel as if I need more squash and stretch for his running. So it looks like he's a plush toy. Um, he only does like a few simple things right now because I haven't got around to adding all the moves yet. Um, he has a jump. He has a double jump and if you listen carefully the double jump actually sounds like a heartbeat so that was the plan all along with it just to make it sound like a heart um and i made this new mechanic which is like a little dash mechanic thing so it's not really for running around it's not really for anything else it's really just to help you get a quick boost in your movements so you can get to further away places so you can stand in here if i was to reach try and reach that I can't. So if I go up to here and then do a boost, I can get there so much easier. Um, the animation isn't final. Like I want him to like bend backwards a bit when he's getting pushed in that in like the like for the speed. So, but yeah, I just I just I don't know. I just really like the move. I feel as if like even though it's not a full dash, it adds like a little bit more freedom to the player's movement. And gives them more ways to interact with the environment and more ways for me to create out obstacles too um and here's a true test of the length you can get to hopefully this works this time like because sometimes i just miss it by an inch but okay um basically you can get to that platform over there from here so if i go there we go see i did it you can really push yourself to get to new places and you don't feel as if you're restricted just by a jump. Oh. Yeah. But that's really it, all I've got so far. Um, it's only my first devlog. I'll have more to update soon enough. I'm hoping to have a wall jump. And maybe a grapple hook and maybe a glide. I don't, I don't want to overcomplicate it, but I just want more freedom of movement for him. So like when people are like interacting with the environment, they'll feel safer with the character and not feel as if they're restricted sometimes i know sometimes it's good to have restrictions but still um you know what i'm trying to say i just want it to be more very freeing and very wacky i don't want it to be more like inspired by rayman legends i suppose in the way like that's just really open and crazy and um, i guess mario too but like, i don't want it to be like a mario clone i want it to be its own thing but yeah uh that's heartfelt so far um i really hope you like it and i can't wait to show you more in the future See you soon.